As we gather together, we continue to pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. As we gather in faith, we open our hearts in trust to God's great gift of forgiving love as we confess our sin and our brokenness. You invite us to walk in your way. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you invite us to open our hearts to your love. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you share with us your compassion and forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to a richer and more abundant life in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. loving God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see. Fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. The children of Israel offended the Lord by serving the Baals, abandoning the Lord, the God of their fathers, who led them out of the land of Egypt. They followed the other gods of various nations around them, and by their worship of these gods provoked the Lord. Because they had thus abandoned him and served Baal and the Asherah, the anger of the Lord flared up against Israel, and he delivered them over to plunderers who despoiled them. He allowed them to fall into the power of their enemies around about, whom they were no longer able to withstand. Whatever they, they undertook, the Lord turned into disaster for them, as in his warning he had sworn he would do, till they were in great distress. Even when the Lord raised up judges to deliver them, from the power of their despoilers, they did not listen to their judges, but abandoned themselves to the worship of other gods. They were quick to stray from the way their fathers had taken, and did not follow their example of obedience to the commandments of the Lord. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, he would be with the judge and save them from the power of their enemies as long as they judge lived. 
It was thus the Lord took pity on their distressful cries of affliction under their oppressors. But when the judge died, they would then relapse and do worse than their ancestors, following other gods in service and worship, relinquishing none of their evil practices or the stubborn conduct. The word of the Lord. Yes. Responsorial Psalm. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They did not exterminate the peoples as the Lord had commanded them, but mingle with the nations and learn their works. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They became defiled by their works and wanton in their crimes. And the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Many times did he rescue them, but they embittered him with their counsels, yet he had regard for their affliction when he heard their cry. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Alleluia. Not only is it shorter, 
But in Mark, it's much more intense. Because in Mark's gospel, it says specifically, Jesus looked at the young man and loved him. He looked at the young man and loved him. Matthew doesn't say that. He just says he looked at him and said, if you would be perfect, sell what you have, give to the poor, and follow me. Mark says the same thing, except he looked at him and loved him. And then he spoke his word of invitation. But what I find intriguing about this story of the rich young man is when he asked what he must do, the first response is Jesus saying, keep the commandments. Which ones? And interestingly, the only commandments Jesus mentions are the ones that involve us. He doesn't speak about honoring God or putting God first. He speaks about every commandment. It speaks about how we relate to one another, which seems to indicate that we can be a nuisance at times. <laughs> we can be a bother to each other. And so we have to be willing to put our energy not just up, looking toward the heavens, but out from ourselves to one another. And embrace each day with a willingness to bring our best self to all we encounter this day. That's the first half. For Jesus, in keeping the commandments, he's not as concerned about the first three as the last seven. And then he says simply, if you would be perfect, sell what you have. Give to the poor and follow me. You know, what that says to me is standing at the heart of discipleship is the simple reality of surrender. I don't earn it. I don't necessarily deserve it. I simply surrender. In this case, it was epitomized by his willingness to sell his possessions and give them not to Jesus, not to Father Lincoln, not to Father Canova, but to the poor. And that's why it really epitomizes surrender. And that's what salvation is. It's simply surrendering to the wonderful promise that we are beloved of God. Not because of what we do, but simply because of who we are. So there's two things that work, I believe. One is put your energy in keeping the commandments horizontal toward your brothers and sisters. And then remember, salvation is not about what we do, but who we surrender to.
And let us stand together now as we entrust our prayers to our God. Our loving God, we praise and thank you for the wonder of the gift you give us in your Son, Jesus, for the grace to surrender ever more fully to the promise of his unconditional love, we pray. Let us pray for all those searching for God's love and friendship, that their hearts will be open to its promise and offer, we pray. Let us pray in gratitude for the ministry of Sacred Heart Preschool and School, and pray in gratitude for the, the teachers gathered with us today. And we continue to ask God's blessing upon this coming new year, we pray. Lord, hear our Let us pray for the many students who have returned to their classrooms, for God's blessing on them and the staffs that teach them and care for them. We pray. Lord, hear our and let us continue to pray for those who love lost ones, especially in the mass shootings, that they will know comfort and hope. We pray. Lord, let us continue to pray for the sick and the lonely, that they will know care and loving support. We pray. Lord, <laughs> for the great gift of Jesus' peace more fully to our hearts and world. We pray. Lord, We've been asked to pray and remember this morning. <coughs> you, Matilda Bolliger, Maria Guadalupe Jimenez, in gratitude. For God's promise of life and its hope spoken to them, we pray. Lord, hear our for the intentions we hold in our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our, our gracious and our redeeming God, as we gather in faith, we praise and thank you that in and through your Son, you have called us to be your beloved daughters and sons. Continue to open our hearts to his word of love and give us the grace to surrender ever more deeply and fully to its gift. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Join me now in prayer, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice might be acceptable to our gracious and loving God. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Receive our offering, O loving God, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, 
we may receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our joy and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, gracious God most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O loving God, the fountain of all believers. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, while he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, our loving God, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ Jesus. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, loving God, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gerald our Bishop, and all the clergy and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. 
and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and far by the divine we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, loving God, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not at our sins, but to the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of the Lord's love and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand together in prayer. Made partakers of Christ Jesus through these sacraments, we humbly ask your mercy, O loving God, that conform to his image on earth. We may also be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come upon us all and abide for us. Amen. Let us continue our journey in the peace and love of Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.